Alright guys, this is going to be part 2 in my redemption for my last performance, which I did not perform very well in. Um, my teammates weren't exactly the best, but that was no excuse. I was playing very recklessly, and I was getting, uh, I was getting killed a lot. So, uh, I died five times, but I feel like I had I was 7, 5, and 11. Which, in, in all hindsight, is actually pretty good, you know. But, damn, I just feel like I could do better, so. And definitely the times that I did die, like, if I died, like, doing a good thing, like, defending, say, like, you know, I died taking a tower, or I died doing something like that. Um, that's the one thing, but I died in places where I definitely didn't benefit the team, or the team didn't gain anything from it. So, they are just, like, unfair trades. Um... So definitely I'm gonna try to do better so um, I'm gonna look at what's up on the draft and I'm either gonna play Balika or I'm gonna play Greystone worst comes to worst I'll play Murdoch if uh, those two characters are already gonna be taken so we'll just see like where everyone everyone else picks okay, Murdoch's already taken do you want to test out this Balika build I mean I have two new builds out so I don't know Alright, he wants to play Greystone, that's fine, I'll play Balika. Alright, this works out fine. Let's see what is uh Oh, he's almost there! He's almost there. Oh my god. Come on. Yeah, let me let me chop everything. Oh most there. Damn it. Oh, yeah. There you go, you can like look at it. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, fuck! God! Jeez! This is the third time in a row. This is the third time in a row that I've been denied a right to play this game because people don't like the way the draft is going. This is crazy. Let's try one more time. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Everyone's pissed, I'm like, fuck! Oh my god! Why would you even queue up? Fuck! Jesus, man. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's do it. Let's get it, man. I've been trying to, trying to get in this ass a little bit now. And me, you know, I'm really upset because me and that team were like actually talking. We were actually, looked like we were getting along, you know? So, I'm with all new people now, so let's see what they pick. Oh my god, I'm so I'm so pissed. Uh let's see. Alright. I guess I'll we'll, we'll, we'll go Murdoch. Gaste easy. Yes. What?
Oh my god! Fuck! <laughs> you know what? I'm not, like, editing this out, obviously, but I'm not gonna restart the stream or anything like that. Like, it is just to expose the people that like fucking up the Paragon experience. This is four in a row. This is four in a row that I haven't been able to play. Because of fucking people like Jay Stevie. Fucking god! Jesus Christ! What is wrong with Paragon players, man? It's the console community, dude. The console community is hazardous. I'm not saying that there's not asshole players on PC, but like, jeez, I swear to God, someone's doing this on purpose. Oh my god, dude! You need to stop fucking queuing up, dickface. Jesus. I am very stupid. Hang on. Let's see if this works. All right. Let's see what everyone who wants. Jungle. We got a melee character. Right, we got a mid laner. We did eighty. Okay. Who's off laning? That's my question. Who's off laning? Not that we necessarily need an ADC. Well, it depends. I could, uh, I can only switch from last, so. And no one wants to play me on my good character, so. Definitely my, my, uh. Definitely my, um. Top three characters are in, in order are Greystone, Belika, and then right So. Let's see what's going on. He's gonna off lane. That's what I wanna know. Oh my god. So I don't wanna pick Greystone. And I don't want to, because like those, all three, all of those guys do a lot of damage, so Bleeka could be really good. And I don't know. Who's gonna happen? Let's see what they got going on here. They got a Murdoch, they got a Bleeka themselves, they got a Greystone. So they got a pretty durable cast, except for Murdoch. Bleeka's more durable than they think, so. None of them are really mana dependent, except for Crunch. Steel, Bleeka, yeah, yeah. Alright. This is good. I don't really wanna... If you guys wondering what the sound is, that's uh, that's a fight stick for uh, fighting games. I play a lot of Street Fighter and whenever I'm waiting to fucking get in the match in Paragon, I like to, or doing anything that uh, requires waiting, I like to uh, practice this motion on the, on the fight stick, so. Um, Yeah. I probably, I probably use something more on the spot. Oh god. Alright, so hopefully I can get a I can get a good game here. I just wanna get a solid good game. Alright. So basic strategy with Murdoch, let's talk about it. So I'm gonna try before I get into that. One of them's fucked up. Yeah, that one's fucked up. What's <laughs> wrong with this one? Yep. Okay. Ooh, this is a new build. I haven't, I haven't tried this shit out before. Alright, uh, Lump Juice. I'm gonna get you. Actually, undo that. Uh, yeah, undo that. Undo. Uh, sorry. Undo. Let me get this Red Eye Nitro first. Yeah, whatever. Let me get this guy. There you go. Let's, let's roll out. 
Oh, you think you're fucking cute, dude? You're not cute. Yeah, how do I say cancel that? Notify tactics. Nope. Notify. Top. More. Okay, basic strategy with, uh, with Murdoch. Or commentary, that's what I was getting into. So, I'm gonna give, like, try to give not minimal detail to what I'm doing, but I'm gonna try to give it in increments. When I try to lay down the whole foundation of what I'm doing on the overall game plan at once, I find that I, um, really get caught up in the explanation of things, and I actually don't execute it that well. Alright, so, third one. So basically what I actually went on to do, since I'm landing by myself, I'm gonna let them beat up on these minions, I'm just gonna focus on last hitting, and uh, let them pretty much push it to my tower. That's fine. And I'll harass them a little bit. I get my, uh, I get my push first because, um, obviously, I don't want, uh, especially when you're solo leaning, it's not good, like, I don't want to get jumped on, so. That's the reasoning behind that. Another reason why I get my uh, push first, even if I have a support, is say I'm, you know, I'm leaning with somebody and then they fucking decide to get really aggressive and steal and count us whoever the hell is over here, like decides to try to like, jump on my support, I can help my support out by pushing them away. So it's just like overall really good, uh, really good move. Um, now, I actually get my butt shot. I like, well, a lot of people like to get the mine and play around the mine, but I think the problem with the mine early game is it uses a lot of mana. So when it comes time to use these other abilities, you can't use them. So, basically with Murdoch, your gun, your big ass like shotgun rifle, like super cannon, this is what does all the damage, right? So, play off of that. Definitely play off of that. Don't really rely on your, uh, your ability too much. But Murdoch's abilities are really good, so also be cognizant of, um... Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go Buckshot all the way. Or even if they're getting nine. The cool thing about Murdoch is that so like with other characters that are like pretty reliant on their abilities, um, they usually get they get all their abilities and then they upgrade one all the way. Um, but with with Murdoch, I can jump around. Like having a fully upgraded buckshot, a fully upgraded mine, or a fully upgraded shield is really good. But since they're not core. Uh, in his gameplay, the way I play him, since they're not uh, core elements, um, so it's not really to me. It's not really as uh, as important. So what I'm gonna try to do first is get my push down to think 16 seconds uh, around there. Get my push down to 16 seconds, and then. Uh, I need to build a buckshot, and then once my push is at 16 seconds, I'm going to move buckshot. And then move. So mine's pretty good. Right, so now the... I'm poking at him with the buckshot, and I'm just really trying to eliminate the wave. Uh, wow, I don't know why that didn't come out. That's weird. So fucked up. I <laughs> totally pushed him, and he didn't get out, didn't get away. Now what I'm actually going to try to do is get really aggressive and start killing these minions really fast. Because now I got some card power to spend, and uh, I really want to get that card power. That's not kind of dumb. Hold on. We can't shape a little bit. Let me kill the guy. Because right now it's a race between uh, me and him right now. And he fucked up, so now I'm gonna kill him. 
now I can finish pushing this lane, no biggie. And, uh, there you go. I can go get car, uh, spend some car power. So when, when you're after your solo laning, right? My commentary's been a little late. So whenever you're, uh, whenever you're solo laning, it's important to, you don't want to fall behind the power curve. Especially when, when you're in the, in the beginning. You don't want to fall behind the power curve. Now there'll be times when you'll have like eight card power, and you know, like, you know. Um, but I think it's really important not to fall behind the power curve here because that's where that's where mistakes will, will start to get made, right? Um, oh, actually, it's getting the bomb chase too. There you go. There you go. You don't want to start to fall behind, um, especially say like you're off laning and there's two people you know you're fighting against and they're basically cycling out. They're getting buffer while you're staying the same. Um, then also, when it comes time to trade, uh, if you want to, you know, you don't start acting Brody, he wants to act like, he wants to, uh, uh, you know, ult on top of me, that can be a really bad situation for myself. So, you know, the only thing that's going to deter him to do that, from doing that, is, you know, me being powerful enough where, you know, like he's not motivated to do that. What I'm going to do here is kind of equalize the way. Equalize the way. I'm just gonna go for the last hit right here. So let's talk, um, yeah, 15 seconds. Boom, we're good. Now I can start not putting in the or not fully, not finish up here. Let's talk about positioning. Positioning, you, you want to position so that way you, you have the best and safest route back to your tower. Uh, that's important. Another thing that you want to keep in mind is your field of view. So, I like to play here because now if Chimera wants to get Brody, one, I'm pretty close to my tower, I'm right there. Uh, but if, if Chimera or you know, any their jungler wants to get Brody, then um, it's not a big deal. I can see him coming, and I can prepare for that. I can like hack at him one or two times, and then you know he's already ready hurt and he's ready to curve. He's, he's waiting for the chance to ult the top. But basically, to as a contingency for that, um, if I do enough damage to him, when he ults on top of me, we should be about the same. And I have damage. Him, so we'll be about the same health. Yeah, so, trying to, trying to equal it. Right now, he's been really aggressive, so I don't know if the, their jungle is coming. I don't have wards on this build. Like, a lot of people, you know, uh, yeah, you're crazy. So, now that you see where the wave's at, I'm actually going to stop, um, you know, pushing. That was bad. That was bad. Enemy has been slain. There you go. Okay, attention. You tell me I shot out my own guy. I'll be fucking. No, I'm not shooting my own guy. Alright, so right now I'm gonna seize the opportunity since he's not here. I'm gonna push this lane as far as possible and go get some hard power. So. mid but by the time I get there they're all gonna be dead anyway so not really a lot I could have done there 